The payments tab allows you to set up gateways for payments. You can still build out your cart and your checkout pages and test the flow, but to actually complete a transaction and check that payments are received or submitted, you've got to set up your gateway. Now, the really simple gateways you could set up for your store, whether it's a download or a tangible product, are cash on delivery, which it is what it says it is, or you could even go for a direct bank transfer. And if I go and enable that and then go to manage, or even finish setup, it allows me to add in my account details. It's not always the best way to approach things unless you don't wanna do electronic transfers of money. The two most common approaches are PayPal and using Stripe. And if you're not familiar with Stripe, you probably have used it without realizing it. The most common use that you will see in videos is for people to go and install Woo payments. They go and hit install. This is just going to install Stripe for you. So I'm going to show you how to use Stripe and we're going to use a PayPal plugin as well. So let's start off with PayPal. We're going to go to PayPal standard and we are going to enable this and then we're going to click finish setup. Make sure you enter in your PayPal email address and then go and hit save changes at the bottom. That's basically it to set up the standard PayPal gateway. And if you go over to plugins, you will notice there's no extra plugin installed. And this is what you would see on the checkout with just PayPal standards. This is a dummy fake product on an example checkout page. And we're now going to click proceed to PayPal. And then the customer will be taken to PayPal to log in to pay, or they could pay by debit or credit card, and they could check out as a guest. However, some people get switched off by this, which is why the standard PayPal standard isn't always the best idea. So here's what you should do. Go to plugins and search for WooCommerce PayPal and then install and activate WooCommerce PayPal payments. When you go back to the WooCommerce settings and go to the payments tab, you will now see PayPal over here. So we've already got PayPal standard, which will just go to any PayPal account. What we now want to do is activate this one, enable the button to accept all credit and debit cards, and then go and click activate PayPal you do need to connect your account. You can decide if you're gonna use this for personal use or for as a business. Now, if you do decide to use it as a business, you are gonna to have to ensure that you are now using a business account. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm gonna leave it as personal use. However, if you have not already converted your account to be a business one, go and do that. Normally, it's quite quick with the conversion. Sometimes it might ask for further evidence of you as a business. And it could take up to seven days. So don't wait to get this done. I'm just gonna continue with my personal account and I'm now going to agree to connect this to WooCommerce. Let's go back to WooCommerce. And really quickly, we're now connected, but there's a little bit more to do. You can enable Apple and Google Pay as well. However, when you click enable for any of them, it will take you back to PayPal. And you have to ensure that your account is set up to take these kind of transactions. If you're a little bit unsure, use the PayPal support desk or their live chat just to check that you've got things connected correctly. But sometimes keeping it really simple, just go for PayPal and like the credit and debit card that works for you. Now, even though it is connected, I would take time to look at the tabs and extra options that are available to you. Let's just scroll down. You'll get asked to simulate a webhook. I strongly recommend you do this just to make sure that things are working. The webhook basically ensures that things are processing correctly between your WordPress website and PayPal. And there we go. We're told the webhook was received successfully. This can take between 30 seconds to one minute. So just let it do its stuff. I'm gonna hit save changes and then we're gonna go and look at the other two tabs that are now available within the PayPal payments. We're on the standard payments tab now, so we get quite a lot of extra stuff compared to what you had with the standard PayPal. The option to pay will be visible on our single product, which isn't a bad idea, because at the moment, a lot of shops, you'll have the product and it says add to cart. Then you go to the cart page or the checkout, they could, while they're on the single product page, actually go and pay for it straight away. We can start to define how our buttons look as well. So do you want to go for a vertical layout? Do you want to go for a horizontal? What about the color? Gold is kind of quite standard for PayPal. You might want to go for blue. You might want to go for black. You might want to go for white. So if the branding's a bit off by having gold or blue, you could standardize it. Another great tab that is enabled is to pay later. This can be really important with conversions where you're selling like a high price premium product, but it's quite costly, or, you know, someone might be put off by the price of it. Maybe they might want to pay in three interest, three payments that could really make a difference with some of your conversions. So let me now show you on an example, fake product. We now have the PayPal and the pay later button. 
Let's just go to the cart instead. We're on the cart page and look, it's there again. Let's go to the checkout. On the checkout page, we now have express checkout at the top. So you're basically saying, look, you know, go and pay now. And if they scroll down, they have two PayPal buttons here. Now, why have we got two PayPal buttons? Well, don't forget, we still have the standard PayPal. So let's go and get rid of that. Make sure you're in WooCommerce settings in the payments tab and we're going to go to PayPal standard and we are going to remove that and hit save changes. So now we only have one box rather than two that might confuse people, but we're still missing the part where they can enter in their credit or their debit card. When you go back to the connection tab for your PayPal, we were talking about Apple and Google Pay, but we also had advanced credit and debit card payments. This is really, really important. You have to ensure you've got a business account to do this. So I've mentioned before, you can use your personal if you want, but if you do that, you're going to miss out on this. And this is where you may then use another third party plugin, or you may then go down the Stripe route. I would say ensure you've got a business account and then go and enable this. And when you use a business account, you'll now have advanced card processing available. By the way, if you don't really want to go for pay later and you want instant payment, you can enable that as well over here. Let's go to advanced card processing and then modify the title if we want. We can actually disable certain cards as well. So if you don't want to accept American Express, you could disable that card there. We're going to leave them all on and we're going to hit save changes. Now on my checkout page, if I click PayPal or the button down here, it will take me to PayPal. But look at the extra option you get pay by debit or credit card. I can go and enter in my details and pay rather than going through those extra steps with PayPal. But again, that might not be enough for you. Maybe you want to have the direct debit details here visible to them. And this is where you will need the Woo payments. So if you're happy with PayPal, you can stick at that but if you still want to have the enter your card details on the actual website rather than going to paypal then go and install woo payments you will be shown a window where it does say finish setup but do take note of the requirements below which is create and connect your account this is going to go to a stripe account by the way provide a few business details and setup complete this can take sometimes seven days to go through the process you might be waiting for stripe to verify or authorize you so make sure you get this done ASAP. But let's just hit finish setup. You'll then see this screen and this is the misleading part. People will start entering in their normal email addresses or their account for their Stripe or whatever they're using. You need to enter in your WordPress.com account. If you have not got one of those set up, go to WordPress.com and set one up. It's really easy and simple to do. Hit continue for setting up payments, enter in your relevant details, add in further details about your business. And this is where you have to have had a bit of a think about what kind of business are you? Your finances, I kind of made that up, but we'll leave it in anyway. And then you'll see this screen where you just got to pop in your email. Now, this is the bit I don't like because it's packaged as Woo payments but it actually is stripe so just call it stripe woo payments or whatever so you're informed about that hit continue verify your personal details there are quite a lot of steps would you or would you not agree with that but they're quite self-explanatory so just go through the motions enter in your account details and once you've checked the details and hit submit it will then redirect you back to woo payments so we're told that our store is being verified now don't be surprised if you get an email back that says right we need some further evidence or whatever just to check that this is all enabled and i'm pretty sure i'm going to get something now and I'll have to let them know that this was for a tutorial so they don't affect my other accounts. But you will now be able to accept payments. But you just want to double check that is all okay. So what you want to do is go back over to WooCommerce settings, go and click manage and then enable what you want to have activated. So credit and debit card, obviously, do you want to have any of these other ones as well? Maybe you want to go with Klarna as well, because that's quite popular these days. Refine the transaction details. So when a statement appears on a bank statement for someone that's made a purchase, it's going to say web squadron dot test. On our example checkout, we still have the express checkouts at the top for you to go and pay. But when we scroll down, we have the PayPal option and they could proceed to PayPal. But we now have this where they could directly enter in their credit or debit card details. They could still click PayPal, go to PayPal and then enable the credit or debit card. Or they could do it directly on the website over here. So I think having both options are a really good idea. For any e-commerce website that I build with WooCommerce, this is the process I would go through now. 
Woo payments, because it's so much more slicker than what it used to be. There are other third party Stripe plugins you could use, but this one is pretty easy to go through and it kind of just walks you through. Yes, there's a lot of steps, but it gets you there really quickly. The PayPal one, I did use an extra plugin just because it opened the door for other features as well, which I think is much more useful than the standard PayPal standard. And of course, you want to make sure the advanced card processing is enabled, but you do have to have a business account there. So you've got many options to help you out with your WooCommerce payments.